Oh, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Dylan. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully, each and every single one of you are feeling fine and fantastic. Yes, we're going to take a look at Cool Runnings, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I've only ever seen this once, and it was when I was really, really young. And my, I think it was my parents, parents or one of my friend's mums rented it from on a VHS from the from the library. And I, I, I can't remember hardly anything, but I do know somewhat of the story. So when someone requested this, I was like, oh, "Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely watching it because I've, I've, I sort of like, I don't know. Do you know when you see those movies when you're younger and you just, you can't remember hardly anything from it, and then when as you're older, you just forget about it completely." I just, I feel like that's what's happened with this movie, yeah? And there's a couple of other movies um, that I saw when I was younger that I've completely forgotten about, yeah? So I'm very much intrigued to see if anything I remember from this at all, guys. And I, I, I don't know who the actors are in this. I honestly can't remember who the actors or the actresses are. So, um... Yeah, let's just jump straight into it, guys. You want to check this out on forwards over on Patreon? Let me know if you do enjoy it. And now let's get it. Let's go. Requested movie, by the way. This is a requested movie. All right, team, let's get ready for the pre race cheer. Ready? Yes, yes sir. Who's, Who's the, the captain, captain of our crew? Who's a friend to me and you? Sanka, Sanka, yay, Sanka! <laughs> get back to work. My grandfather says you're definitely going to make it to the Olympics. Good luck, man. I'll see you at the finish line, all right? <laughs> Do we stand for ready? Who knows? Ready. <laughs> the boy is never ready. Let's go. <laughs> On your mark. What the hell's going on over here? Everyone's falling over. Oh! Uh oh. Sanka. Of course, there's a chicken in there. Oh. Sanka, you're dead. Yeah, man. Where do you think you're going? Can't believe the trials are finally here. I don't care how fast they run. I'm gonna run faster. Awesome. I'm going to the Olympics, baby. Feel it. Oh, what a beautiful house. Look at that. It's my turn, Joy. Welcome what a beautiful to the house. Final event of today's Olympic tryouts. You sure no one can beat him? Oh, sure, I'm sure. Let me first congratulate yeah, right. our athletes on a splendid performance. <laughs> we remind them that yeah, right. the I mean, four fair enough. Will earn the right to represent Jamaica in the forthcoming Summer Games in Seoul, Korea. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Hey, good luck to you too. Runners, take He's your like, marks. Don't you dare shake my hand. That's what he reckons. And you know what sucks? The fastest didn't win. The it's fastest the didn't race. win. You have to run the race over. I'm sorry, Doris. Nothing can be done. Those are the only other two sports in which Jamaica competes. I am not a boxer. I'm a runner. Well, Papa, what do I do now? Mm. Look, Doris. Think of another way. Let it go, eh? Who's the other man in the picture with my father? Oh, Irving Britzer. He's an American who lives here. Takes his bets in a small pool hall just past yeah. Sandy Bay. He had some theory about using track sprinters to push the bobsled. Some ridiculous thing like that. Ah! You so he... This is how he becomes a bobslayer. Okay! Sweet, bros. Sweet, bros. He can bobsled and you sure this man, he lives on the island? Oh, yes. Mr. Cool, this takes a lot. What 
That's a bobsled. <laughs> That's a bobsled. Or a steady driver and three strong runners to push off down the ice. Ice? You mean winters in igloos and Eskimos and penguins and ice? Possibly. You're looking at him. Then you can't do it. No! <laughs> Hey man, you could be famous. <laughs> You're right. looking at him. I don't Are you going to do it? No. Look, you are my best friend. We've been through a whole heap together, and I really, really need you. But you just said if I said that, all right. All right, that's right. So, let's talk about this Bill Sled team. No, Bob Bill Sled? <laughs> Good tumbleweed. Good tumbleweed. Good tumbleweed. tumbleweed is no, tumbleweed. Let him out. That guy won two gold medals. <laughs> I think I've seen this actor before. Where have I seen him? Are you Mr. Irving Blitzer? Well, that depends on who's asking. If you'd be interested in coaching the first Jamaican bobsled team. Mm -hmm. In the stick, let's go. Let's go. Come on, coach. Go! Waiting, sled guy. Sorry to bother you, but you don't want to help us. Maybe today is a bad day. Yeah. I'll come back tomorrow. Snow, you don't have any. It's 900 degrees out there. The Olympics are in three months. And me, you don't have me. And most of all, and I mean most of all, I don't want to be within 2,000 Something's miles happened to anyone him. who does. Something's happened to him. Something happened in the past. What happened with Bob Slang? What happened? And how come you still have that poster on the wall? There. Is that better? Are you happy? My name is Doris Bannock. I'm Ben Bannock's son. I haven't seen this picture in 20 years. You look at me now. Please. <laughs> so what happens Just when you get older. I don't have what it takes. But forget the whole thing. Believe me, kid, you do not have what it takes. You ran the 100 meters in 10 flat. Well, I run it in 9 9. But it might be easy for you to walk away from me, Mr. Blitzer. But you can't walk away from this. Look at me, Mr. Blitzer. I'm your chance. Take it. <sighs> Is that far out? All right. All right. And I want to introduce you to Mr. Irving Blitzer. He's going to <laughs> He's be already had enough. expert bobsled coach. He's had some pain in the past. Sega. You can tell. He's had some serious You're on the pain. Air, sled guard. A bobsled is a simple thing. Yes, yeah, so's a toilet. <laughs> Basically, what you're looking to do is get your sorry rear ends from the top of an icy chute, the biggest, coldest roller coaster you've ever been on. Always remember, your bones will not break in a bobsled. I think I remember watching a Winter Olympics where someone died with the bobsledding. I'm pretty sure I watched one where the other sounds a little bit rude and despicable, but it's true. I can't remember what Olympics it was. Well, there was one where a bobsled team um, crashed and, and died. <laughs> They're all like, boos. Look, Baldi's here. So what's your name? Yul Brenner. We may be on the same team, but I am no one's teammate. I have to take one of those bobsleds to do it then all right oh. wasn't it true that back in the day when that's what people wanted to do they wanted to compete in the olympics so they can stay in the country that they competed in wasn't that true i'm pretty sure there was a massive thing from the 60s through to the 90s where that was happening wasn't it for i'm pretty sure that's what i was hearing you i'll kill you wait wait boy, i'll kill you You're dead. Kill him, and we don't have a team. You're crowding me, Slinky Head. Slinky Head? <laughs> Slinky Head, that's a good one. That is what a good one. About? Nothing. If it wasn't for you, rich boy, I'd be in rich the Olympics boy. right now. Yeah. I, don't know, I don't know if I've got some patrons from Jamaica or, or have a Jamaican accent, but Jamaican accents are so f 
cool, man, honestly. It's you're talking about, man. I don't know. I do a horrible Jamaican accent, but they're so sick, eh? They're so sick. Fine. Stay here on the island. We are going to Canada. All right. I'll do it. Say hello to the first Jamaican bobsled team. Oh, goody. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is a bobsled. All right, here's what we're going to do. You start you out practicing. Don't touch me. You're the first middleman. You're quick. You're sharp. Hop in. I'm the driver. You're not. You're the brake man. I'm coming from two gold medals. I'm coming from nine world records in both the two and four man events. That's a hell of a place to be coming from. <laughs> you see, Santa, the driver has to work harder than anyone. He's the first to show up and the last to leave. You see, a driver must remain focused 100% at all times. He's also responsible for the lives of the other three people in his sled. Now, do you want that responsibility? I say we make the Reese the driver. <laughs> so do I, Sanka. So do I. I say we make the Reese the driver. The <laughs> Reese is thinking oh, about it now. Like, the back oh, is nice. Damn it. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. Fine. Cut off my allowance. I got you a job. You start end of the month. <laughs> we agreed that it's time to get on with your real future, right? I'm going to tell your mother. <laughs> mm, I guess interesting. We told him. He's Race got dad's. He, he got dad issues. He's got dad issues. Let's see how fast you are when you push a 600-pound sled. Whoop, 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 whoop. Cold weather endurance is vital to building a successful sled team. Oh, oh they did it. Oh, oh, stress. Thank you. You did? Yeah, yeah man. man. <laughs> we do, sir. And who are you? The Jamaican bobsled team, sir. <laughs> Don't give me that business. I wasn't born yesterday. Five nine! Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Five nine, guys. What? Who are you? I'm their coach. Move it! Oh. Let's hustle! Come on! Oh, Let's move God. it! Come on, you guys! Move it! These boys have never even seen a sled race before. Mr. Coolidge, I have been looking at sledders since I was 12 years old. And if you think I'm going to give you the little money we have so that you can parade us around in front of the world like a freak show, I'm certainly not going to allow you to embarrass us. Oh, what did he do? What, what was his past? That's okay, coach. We get the money. Do the words give up mean anything to you? Nope. Not a thing. That's awesome. That's a sign of a real winner in the real world. Right there. We're looking for a sponsor for the first ah, Jamaican sponsor. bobsled team. <laughs> oh. I made a dollar and 16 cents. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. We're only short about 19,000 bucks. Sorry I'm late, everybody. No. That's too bad. Whoa. The rich boy. Where'd you get it, man? It's the rich boy. I sold my car. I am going. No, we're not. We can't accept this money. It just wouldn't be proper. Uh, I want you to have it. You mean you want us to have it, right? Right. Us. Thanks a whole heap, man. Remember, this doesn't mean that I like you. Be sure to thank your father <laughs> for us, because Lord knows he didn't have to let you sell that car. Well, uh, he doesn't know I sold the car. Oh. Um, <clears throat> uh -oh. He doesn't know I'm on the team. <laughs> he thinks I'm off to Miami. And I loaned the car to a friend. Go to Olympics, fight for Jamaica. This is it. We hope you all enjoy your stay. This is 
Minus 25 degrees. Jesus. Excuse me, don't worry, you registered a bobsled. Yeah, I'd like to uh, register for tryouts. What country? Uh, Jamaica. Jamaican bobsled team. Uh, it says here your qualifying run will be held on the evening of the 10th. In order to qualify, you must complete the course safely in one minute, two seconds flat or under. Hello, Kurt. It's been a long time. Obviously not long enough. Meet me there in half an hour. Half an hour? Yeah. Please. Come on. Thanks, Roger. Something's very odd. Something very odd What's is up, going guys? on here. I need a sled. I got $4,800. I just need something competitive. <laughs> For five grand? Remember when you were desperate to make that last slot on the 68 Grenoble team? All right. Maybe I can get you one of our practice sleds. You're a saint. You know that? A saint. Is this whole thing a big joke? Or do you really expect these Jamaicans to qualify? Three of these guys can run the 100 in under 10 flat. But can lightning run on ice? You know, I've never skated. <laughs> never. I've, sorry, no, that's not true. I've tried to, I've fallen on my ass, and I never did it again. There you go, but I've never s actual skated, yeah? Irv, these special shoes aren't very effective. Rip with your toes. Look at my progress. Touching me. Ugh. Let's get off the ice before practice. What practice? That's right. Not gonna lie, bob sledding looks really cool, but it's dangerous, man. You should see this on the head. It's like a miracle. Once, twice. I'd like to introduce you to the newest member of our team. <laughs> uh, you won't believe what I had to go through to get us a sled in such good shape. Well, that is a practice if one. We're gonna make it into the Olympics. This is the boat that's gonna take us there. It's beautiful. <laughs> They're all like, wait, what? Are you smoking something or? Hey, as long as they can do the work. Hmm? This is good. <laughs> We're gonna push start next time. For your first run, I'm just gonna nudge you off. Okay, everybody in. Let's go, let's go. Why don't you put some training wheels on that sled? <laughs> Why don't you That's put funny. some training wheels on Very that sled? Shut up, idiot. You want to kiss my egg? I'm not kissing no egg. We're different. People are always afraid of what's different. Hey, Jamaica! Wow, that is the one of the most underrated statements you'll ever see, but yet one of the most powerful. Ain't that goddamn true? Watch out for number 12 turn. It's scary, yeah? Huh? What's his problem? He's Josef Gruel. He's one of the best drivers in the world. High in, low out. All right, put your helmets on, everybody. Let's go. I can't get my helmet on. Oh, thanks, coach. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> hold it. Yeah, hold it. <laughs> oh, but coach, I, I can't hold it. Come on. It's down. It's down, guys. Sinking. It did? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> you can pee now. I already did. Um, too late. <laughs> too late. <laughs> Bloody brilliant. It's embarrassing. What are you talking about reading? This is a children's book. If that's a children's book, that means it's too advanced for the likes of you. You're going nowhere, Sanka, and you're thrilled to death about it. Win the Olympics and become famous. I'm going to leave the island. What are you laughing about? <laughs> what are you laughing about? Don't try. It's Buckingham Palace. You can try. You plan on living there, you're going to have to marry the queen. Yeah. 
<laughs> Face it, Yule Brenner. All he has to do is know what he wants and work hard for it. Yep. Amen, brother. If he wants it bad enough, Amen, brother. he'll get it. Preach, not page. The more Preach. Yule Brenners we got making it in this world, the better off this world would be. You go get your palace. All right, we're up. Let's go, guys. This is it. Give me that. It's no different than what we practiced. We've done it a hundred times. Doris, right here. Ridiculous. What's Ready? he doing? Oh! Go, 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 I hate to say it, but uh, you gotta wake up. What do you mean, busted? The 72 games. The guy hit weights in the front of the sled to make it go faster. Oh, so he was so a what? cheater. It's ah. no big deal. Having your gold medals taken away for cheating is a big That's deal. why he's angry. That's his former teammate. Doris, let's go. We got a meeting. Giving my kid a few pointers, Larry? Your kid's gonna need all the help he can get. Maid service, sir. <laughs> Would you like your bed turned down? Mint? There's no little thing. Fight! <laughs> Sorry. It's a telegram. No, it's a telegram. What does it say? From my father. He says I have to come home right now. You've worked too hard and too long. He is really mad. I mean, you don't know him like I do, you know. The man, you act like he's the king of the whole world. Hey, Jamaica! Keep it down. You are not owning this place. You and your stupid friend playing like you're bobsledders. Yeah? You want to say something, Jamaica? Come on, out with it. Now look in the mirror and tell me what you see. You see Junior. A you coward see boy. A coward boy. You want to know what I see? I see pride. I see power. But it's not about what I see. It's about what you see. I see pride. Can I hear you? I see power. I see a badass mother who won't take no crap off of nobody. That's right. right. He's going to go fight the guy. Then you better come up with a damn good apology. Or else. Or else. Oh. No problem, man. Give me the I can't believe this. I just can't believe this. I want to see who's laughing when Irv gets here. What happened? <laughs> I told the owner of the bar these guys were mentally disturbed, so he's not going to press any charges. <laughs> All right. There Thank God go. does it again. Just shut up, Sanka. They hate me. They hate you. They hate us. Good night, gentlemen. Oh! <sighs> Rise and shine. <laughs> Oh. Leave this on your own one. Oh. Turn six. Right. Turn seven. Three. Turn eight. Rise above it. Okay, guys. Tonight's the night. Now, in a few minutes, you're going to get a chance to do something that no one in your country has ever done. Hmm. I was going to save this. That'd be so Olympics, nervous, honestly. Like, that'd be so nervous. That we are world class letters. What the deal? It's Jamaican colors, man. I freeze in this. Irv, this is Carl Schindler. He'll be watching the middle track. I'm your third official up in the tower. What happened to Krychek? He came down sick this morning. No problem, man. <laughs> Go get him, kid. Come on, guys. Six point one three under sixty. Ah! <laughs> All those people that were doubting him, giving him crap, huh?
Fellas, it's to follow your dreams. Come on, follow your dreams. He is the sprinting. So what are we gonna name this sled? Tallulah. That's my mother's name. Oh. Yeah, that's a good name. That's a good name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool runnings. Beautiful. I like it. Very strong. Cool runnings means peace be the journey. To the messenger. To the messenger. To the messenger. We are officially disqualified. How? Oh, that's some propaganda. Excuse me, gentlemen. Kurt, I really have to talk to you. Excuse me, Ron. I want to know why you disqualified my guys. In an Olympic year, the qualifiers count as an international race. This year, the Alliance decided to change its policy. Oh, please. We must also be concerned about the potential for embarrassment. I think racist f***s, aren't they? Absolute racist what you're doing is wrong, and you know it. All right, 16 years ago, I made the biggest mistake. It's 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 all about the Jamaican the Jamaican guys being these small underdogs, and these guys that are at the top getting picked off. Yeah, getting picked off. This is what happens, guys. This is what happens in sport. I can tell you guys right now from someone firsthand that was being involved in sport and a high level of sport. This happens, guys. This happens in sport all the time. When you're someone who's not meant to win, when you come from somewhere where you're not meant to be successful and you're beating someone or a team or people that are known to be successful, then people don't like it. People don't like that. There's a lot of things that happens in sport where it keeps you down to this level. There's so many things. Now, not so much, not so much, but it still happens, yeah, but not so much now. Now, if you're here and you can make people money, they don't care. But back then, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, I'm telling you right now, no matter what, if you knew someone, you could go places in sport. I'm telling you guys right now. If it's revenge you want, take it. It was me who let you down, Kurt. It wasn't my guys. Hell, it doesn't matter if they come in first or 50th. Those guys have earned the right to represent their country. And inspire people. They've earned the right to march into that stadium and wave their nation's flag. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the single greatest honor an athlete could ever have. That's what the Olympics are about. Sorry if I interrupted your meeting. And that's why when people say, oh, why do people love sports so much? Because you've got to realize that <laughs> the fact that you're representing, even if it's not your country, but you're representing your family name, you're representing yourself, you're representing the people you care for and love and cherish, and you were going to die for, to battle with, Winning, competing, whatever it is, there's nothing better. The feeling is sensational and it can last a lifetime. I've got so many memories from sport that will last for a lifetime that I still can remember. Do I remember all the wins? No. Do I remember the majority of the losses? Yes. But that builds the character. Hello? Yes? Right. Goodbye. What did they say? Oh, they said we're back in. <laughs> I bet you this movie was very significant when it first came out. Yeah, very, very important to people. I bet you it inspired so many young kids. So many young kids. This is why cricket in India is so important as well. Just remember this. Cricket in India is so important for this very reason. Their flag bearer is the sled captain, Therese Banning. That's quite a story. The Jamaican bobsled team. It's a beautiful afternoon in Calgary. Gentlemen, let's go check into our new home. Now, a lot of coaches will be giving you one of those uh, win one for the Gipper speeches. Our father, who art in Calgary, bobsled be thy name. With liberty and justice for Jamaica and Haile Selassie. Amen. <laughs> All right. Yes. I know that. I know that. 
Uh oh. Junior? Someone's in trouble. You might not have done what you were asked, but you will do what you're told. No. No. You're coming home. No. Yeah, but father, you know, I just But want... nothing. No. I didn't send you to the finest school for you to No. Go around. No, no, no. I don't care if this is dad. Don't let anyone ever tell you what to do. Do not let anyone dictate your life. Do not ever let that happen to you. Ever. It is you that has to dictate. You turning into a man or a grown-ass woman. It is you. No one else tells you how to be, how to do it, what to do. Except for your wife, of course. That's a different story. Do what your wife says. That's a different story. But don't let anyone else tell you what to do. All right? Yeah, but the team needs me. I don't want to hear any more about it. Nope. I'd no let the advice just close and be like, Bye, mate. See ya. You may be my dad, but you're not being my father at the moment. You prick. Here we go. Father, when you look at me, what do you see? I see a lost little boy who is lucky to have a father who knows what's best for him. Really? No, no, really? no, no, you don't know what's best for me, father. I am a man and I'm an Olympian and I'm staying right here. See? There you go. You badass mother. Feeling very Olympic today. How about you? This one had already, John, on day one, we're starting things off with the gold medal favor. But the East Germans are coming off the gold medal win in 1984. 80 miles an hour or close to it. What are you thinking about our last and next team from the tiny island of Jamaica? <laughs> You know, there's a lot of teams up here on top of the hill that sort of feel that Jamaicans don't belong here. Hey! Hey, what are you doing? Hey! You also make them little pocket knives, too, but I don't see you doing that. All right, guys, we're up. <laughs> this time, 100 million people watching. Ready. Ready? Ready! Team attempts its first ever Winter Olympic event. I know it's not funny, but how embarrassing. Ooh, look at that high line and Omega. He bounces off the wall. Ricochets like a pinball. That dude better watch his mouth. He better watch more than that. And a time of 58.04, which will be good enough for last place. It was yours for the taking, and you choked. You had all better figure out how to stay loose out there. I'll see you tomorrow on the hill. Huh. I'm just trying to get us off on the right foot. Well, the right foot for us is not the Swiss foot. I mean, come on, Darius. We can't be, be copying different. nobody else's style. We have be our different. Own... That's the moral. Be different. Be different. There you go. Well done. Well done. This is what they're teaching, kids. Brilliant. Style. Brilliant. Kissing the egg is no kind of style. It's different. It's different. Here. It's, There's different. No stupid Derby. it's different, brother. It's different. I didn't come up here to forget who I am and where I come from. And the best I can be is Jamaican. Doris, I've known you since Julie Jeffries asked to see you ding a ling. <laughs> and I'm telling you as a friend, if we look Jamaican, then we sure as hell better bobsled Jamaican. We now come to the second chance for the four intrepid men from Jamaica. I'd like the Jamaicans have any chance of winning a medal. Dear God, just let it be can, better than yesterday. How can someone say that, though, as a commentator? Like, what are... Oh, they have no chance at winning a medal. No commentator will ever say that. None. If they do, they deserve to be fired. Get on up! It's bobsled time! Cool running! That's a hair faster than the Swiss. Boy, that's a real big difference from yesterday. Yesterday, their heads were bobbing everywhere. Today, they're almost in unison. That's the same team we saw yesterday. Where did these guys come from? Yeah! 56.53 yeah. yes. <laughs> That moves him up to eighth place. Watch out world, the Jamaicans are coming. But that's what I mean, like it, win or lose, it's not about winning all the time, yeah. This is what you gotta realise. It's not all about winning. 
It's how you've conducted yourself. It's how you've represented yourself. Like I said, your loved ones, your family, your name. It's how you've done that. And as long as you've done that well, it, nothing else matters. And that's the truth. Good. You all set to follow in your father's footsteps? I think so. I have to ask you a question. Sure. You don't have to answer if you don't want to. You want to know why I cheated, mm. right? I thought this question yes, was going to come up. That's a fair question. I had to win. You have to keep on winning. No matter what. You understand that? Mm. No, I don't understand, coach. No. You had two gold medals. You had it all. A gold medal is a wonderful thing. But if you're not enough without it, you'll never be enough with it. How will I know if I'm enough? No, but that's when not you right. That you are line. you are enough. You are enough, coach. You are enough. You'll know. I didn't expect to see you here. We've got a team in the Olympics, don't we? Fans here have an extreme case of Jamaican fever. Oh, so do I. So do we. Do I have to tell you whose turn it is now? Good luck. Let me kiss your lucky eggs. Next team up. The race. See you at the finish line. Fanic is having it. And even with that rickety old sled. This does not look good. Something's got to be wrong. Are you dead? Yeah, man. There is. <laughs> You're dead? dead? No, man. I have to finish the race. Excuse me, Just imagine if they had a brand new one of them. Ooh. What they would have done if they had the funding. And this is the other side to sport. Inspire people. Jamaican bobsled team returned to their country as heroes. Four years later, they returned to the Olympics as equals. So one thing I wanted to touch on, guys, right? You know when Irv said that you have to... You have to know when you're enough, yeah? When... I, that's really telling because he was talking about how he got to a stage where he won so much and all he knew was was win, 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 win. So that's what he had to keep on doing. Because he was going through stuff, obviously battling through stuff himself. And it's like he said, no matter how many gold medals you do, you mean that's not going to solve the problem, yeah? No matter how many gold medals you've won. So that just takes me back to what I've heard a lot of people about being successful when it comes to winning like championships and things like that or or medals or winning events when you go through the when you go through the process of winning so much you sometimes leave that person behind that personality of yourself behind that it acts as an illness it acts as a sickness that you'll do anything to win 
And essentially, that's what Irv's trying to get it to us, yeah? That's why people cheat in sport. Because it essentially is an illness where you want to win. And the thing is, if you're set mentally, if you're in the right place upstairs, then those sorts of things don't bother you. Those sorts of things don't happen. And I think that because of the environment he was in with all his friends and his coach, all they wanted to do is win, win, win. It made him do that. It made him cheat. And this is what I'm saying to you guys. It's 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 hard to explain to people that don't know and I don't understand sport at all. It's very hard to explain. But if you do, then it's simple. It's so, so simple. Because you got to realize people train so long for so many years to compete into a sport at a high level that you become competitive not with just yourself, but the word winning itself. And sometimes you will risk everything, do anything, just to get that win. Some people would do absolutely anything for it. And they take risks. But while they're doing that, they don't see... If the consequences come about, who's going to be affected? They don't see that. That's why it's so important for you to have a set, a, 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 a proper mindset when and mentality when it comes to these sorts of things. That's why when people say, oh, this person was like, you saw it with Armstrong, for example. One of the greatest cyclists you ever see. People say all the time, why did he why did he cheat? People won't say he cheated, but I'm giving you an example, yeah? You see like sports stars that are so used to winning that they do risk certain things to try and win. You see that guys. Because it's like he was saying, it's like Irv was saying, once you get into that mentality of winning, you do anything to keep on. Because nothing will ever be enough. It will never be enough. And also, as well, another one which I quickly want to touch on. I've quickly, I've touched on everything here. I, I want to touch on something as well. And that's what sport does in general. And it inspires people. It inspires children. It inspires kids. That's why I say it's so important for sports stars to be themselves, but also know that there's people watching them and looking up to them. You can be yourself, but just remember that people idolize you. There's someone that's looking up to you. Even if you think that there's no one there that's going to be idolizing you, there will be. It's so important because what your actions can inspire hundreds, if not thousands of people. And especially if you're representing a nation or a certain group that is known to to have a passionate fan base or a passionate people, or people that look to that sport for inspiration, make the most of it. Because that's how you will be remembered. Everyone remembers Stephen Bradbury, the Australian, the first Australian to win an, Olymp uh, an Olympic winter sport medal. And you know how he won it, guys? It was an ice great. It was ice skating. Uh, it was it was it was um, yeah, it was um, power skating. I think it was, I can't remember what it's called. Everyone in front of him, he was coming dead last. This is an Australian, guys. 
We all witnessed this. He was coming dead last by a margin. And all the rest of the competitors at the front ran into each other because they were so competitive that all they wanted to do was win, 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 win. They end up tripping each other over and pushing each other. And you know what this Australian did, Stephen Bradbury? Come around the corner. Everyone's on the floor. He come around the corner. Passing the finish line. The shock on his face and the shock on the nation of Australia was massive. And that inspired kids. That inspired kids to become Winter Olympic Olympians. It inspired a nation just from that. It was a story that would be told for years upon years upon years to come. And it's a story I've told my son. Do you see what I mean? This is what sport does. It inspires people to never give up. Believe in yourself. And know that you, you are enough. As long as you do the best you can, that's all that matters. Guys, I absolutely love this. I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. I absolutely love this film. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it as well. Um, yeah, just sensation. I, absolutely, I wanted it to be longer, but it is what it is. Thanks, guys. Take it easy. I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Thank you for requesting this. Go check this out on full over on Patreon. It'll be down in the description down below. Fantastic acting. Let let me just say that the 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 setting on both when it went from I don't know if it was in Jamaica but it went from the hot dried up climate to going out of the airport and you just see the big the big wind just hitting them front on I, I can't remember what was what it's called when it comes to snow on that I can't remember. Anyway, the gust of wind and snow just absolutely pelting them in the face as soon as they opened up the airport. I loved how they showed the difference between the two places. And the comedy. The comedy was really, really good too. All right, guys, take it easy. I'll speak to you soon, and peace out.